here we go with the Tuesday evening weather for Weather Geeks video. We're keeping a close eye on the weather out to our west. And before the evening is through, maybe we'll do a live stream. But uh, the timing of our storms for most of my television viewing area will be right around the time. They'll be doing a newscast at 11 o'clock or so. But uh, that being said, we may do some live streaming coverage afterwards as conditions warrant and we'll tell you why in this video but first just a quick review of course it was another warmer than average day today at 78 we've had almost two straight weeks of warmer than average high temperatures 78 today that's nine degrees above the average for this time of the year all right as of 7 12 p.m tornado watch for roughly the western half of ohio parts of michigan and a good chunk of indiana as well we've had confirmed tornadoes especially in michigan over the last couple of hours will there be additional watches this evening i could see it either way i could see where they might uh, tag you know a handful of counties to the east of the current watch in a new tornado watch before the evening is through but i think it's it gets much more marginal certainly in eastern ohio as far as the overall severe weather threat goes the uh, storm reports over the last 24 hours again a lot of hail reports uh, around the midwest and a couple of confirmed tornadoes thus far in southwestern michigan uh, closer to grand rapids kalamazoo and down towards the indiana state line this is a summer like air mass that's fueling these storms these dew points are really up there for early may a uh, 66 degree dew point in columbus the dew point at uh, 70 in cincinnati locally the the moisture is not as rich our local dew point at the youngstown warren regional airport 61 now it might rise a few degrees this evening but we're not going to see a 70 degree dew point around here and that will uh, help to spare us a little bit when it comes to the overall severe weather threat this was the the line as of 7 13 in the evening from central michigan right down into northeastern indiana into uh, some of the southern and eastern suburbs of indianapolis starting to get into some of the far western ohio counties now this whole line eventually is going to start moving into an air mass that is not quite as favorable for severe weather the instability in other words is not quite as impressive right now it's that line is feeding on some pretty high instability levels in eastern uh, indiana western ohio southwestern michigan but our instability over the next couple of hours well not zero certainly the uh, it's just the atmosphere is not as primed once you get far far east into ohio and into western pennsylvania so what i'm going to keep harping on in this video is that our severe weather risk locally in the Youngstown area and surrounding areas is not zero tonight. Uh, the risk is elevated, but it's just not as high as in places like Columbus and Dayton and Lima and heading up towards Detroit as well. That instability will continue to wane overnight. It will never crash to zero, um, so there will be some thunderstorm fuel, but uh, just not quite as much as our neighbors off to the west. As far as the timing for our local area, we'll be largely dry for the next few hours, but right around 11 o'clock, midnight, even as late as 1 o'clock or so, line of showers with some thunder is going to push through. I'm expecting an overall weakening trend, but there's going to be probably some pockets here and there somewhere in eastern Ohio and western PA where the storms are a little bit on the stronger side a little bit on the noisy side and then the show will be over quickly overnight and what a beautiful day we have coming up for tomorrow a lot of you will be heading to bed before these storms arrive tonight and while again severe weather is no guarantee uh, the risk is not as high locally as out to the west again the risk is not zero so make sure you have a way to get woken up in case the weather is particularly dangerous tonight uh, the storm tracker 21 app make sure you have the alerts turned on and your phone is not on silent uh, NOAA weather radio something I always uh, encourage people to pick up inexpensive easy to program a good thing to have for the next uh, severe weather outbreak whether it occurs at night or during the day and make sure all your devices are charged just in case you are to lose power with any showers and storms overnight so again you know we're not going to scare you to death here we never try to uh we think this is a pretty marginal situation for us in our part of ohio but you know the weather's pretty intimidating off to the west right now uh the weakening trend is likely to occur with that line coming east but it's no guarantee that we'll get off scot-free overnight for tonight but we are going to guarantee a beautiful day coming up on wednesday the storms are long gone the sun will be out and temperatures are off to the races. We'll make our way into the lower 80s tomorrow afternoon. The other thing you'll notice tomorrow, the dew points will come down quickly in the afternoon. Um, it's kind of muggy out there this evening with dew points in the lower 60s. Our dew points will crash down into the upper 30s and lower 40s by the end of the day tomorrow. We will kill for those kinds of dew points by the middle of summer in July 
and into August. All right, enjoy tomorrow. Take advantage of tomorrow if you can, because Thursday and Friday and even Saturday are not looking great. Uh, this cold front rolls through, and we'll be stuck in the 60s at best on Thursday with occasional rain showers, and maybe there's a thunder shower in the mix, but that's a pretty low chance. And with this trough of low pressure depicted on the weather map here, that's that dashed black line, still kind of an unstable atmosphere overhead on Friday. And I think there is at least the chance of some residual showers, maybe some sun, uh, inter sunny intervals as well, but uh, at least the chance, especially in the first half of the day Friday, for more showers. And I think there'll be another fast-moving system coming through in the flow through the Great Lakes on Saturday, and it'll bring a good chance for showers and some thunderstorms on Saturday, uh, and maybe some small hail with any thunder showers that cruise through on Saturday. But our forecast has improved for Mother's Day on Sunday. Uh, we think it's likely to be a dry day, and while the morning will not be 64 degrees, the afternoon will be. So whether you're bringing mom breakfast in bed, or you're doing something with mom or grandma or someone else in the afternoon, uh, the weather should be pretty good. Not exactly warm, it'll be cooler than average. But we're going to turn the corner temperature-wise next week, with temperatures uh, likely to get back to average and even above average for a handful of days next week. Again, we'll keep you updated on all our outlets on social media this evening. Uh, watch for a YouTube live stream, perhaps either before our 11 o'clock newscast or perhaps more likely just after our newscast if conditions warrant, if we have some active warnings and some threatening weather. So if you're a night owl and you'll be up anyway, be sure and check out that potential live stream wherever you're watching Weather for Weather Geeks. So most of you are watching on YouTube and uh, we'll do that live stream on YouTube if necessary, probably after our 11 o'clock news. Thanks for watching tonight and have a great rest of your Tuesday night.